Hello everyone, Harker here. Today, in this video, I will be showing you how you can get yourself an alternate game coordinator in uh, CSGO, because recently Valve broke the uh, backend for applying skins. Sorry if my voice sounds like this, I am like sick right now, and I'm getting a spam call. So uh, I'm going to try and do this quick. Afterwards, I'll show you how to add skins. You have to do it manually for now, but hopefully... If it does get very popular, like bigger, this video like shares out to more people. And more people can make more tools for it, make it supported for more servers and such. Anyways, so what you want to do is go to the link in the description. You'll see this GitHub page. You need to sign in with a GitHub account because the way we're going to download this requires a GitHub account. Blend GitHub. But once you're here, you want to click on Actions. And then once you're here, where it's the workflows, you want to click the first one you see at the top. And then you go down here and download the and download this, which will download it into a zip file, which I have in this folder right here. And then what you want to do is go to your CSGO game files and then just drag and drop these two files in there. But first make a backup of your original exe like that. You can do it any other way. This way is just faster for me. Drag and drop it in there. Here's a fun fact. Don't open CS2 through Steam. If you open up or not CS2, CSGO through Steam, because if you do, it will try and validate your files. So if you want to launch it, it, you have to launch it from the EXE. Or if you want to uh, launch it with Steam, so you can play on like VAC servers with this, just right click, create shortcut, which is here. Then right click on the shortcut, click on properties, then add to the target space dash Steam. And then we are going to uh, launch the shortcut. And I I won't edit anything out. I won't I'll edit the uh you know, I won't edit this first part out, but everything else I'll edit out just to save some time. So uh, give it a second. It takes a while to load on my computer. There we go. As you can see, if you did it right, you shouldn't see a store down here. And if you go to your inventory, you should see a karambit fade, which comes included. I can apply it and I will just quickly hop into a game real fast to show you that it works. Lo loads in game. Okay, now that we're in, I'll just select Cam Terrorist and as you can see, let me kick the box. I have the Karambit Fade. Now, here's the thing about this this only works offline, or you could do that if your friends, like, uh, sorry. As you can see, it works for me, but if I want to join like a public server without the game coordinator mod stuff, your skins would not load as they're using the regular Steam one, which you know doesn't work anymore. But if your friends have this or a server has the uh, server files included, then once you load in, then you should be able to see all your skins. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sick. But anyways, I will now show you uh, how you can add your own skins. I'll show you how to add pins, capsules, uh, key, key, pretty much all of them. So what you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description and you should see the CSGO skin stuff in like a paste bin. There should be a link down there which will pretty much be like your guide to how to do this. And then you want to go to your CSGO underscore GC, find your inventory.txt, and open it with Visual Studio. And this config folder is you can change your rank and stuff. So as this client side, but um, like that doesn't really matter. You can do with all that you want. We're here for your inventory. And then what you want to do is go into your CSGO folder, scripts, items, and then itemsgame.txt. I'm going to open this in Visual Studio Code because it's personally faster for me. First, let's start off with our capsule. So what you want to do is uh, copy all this on this page, go to your inventory, and go down to this brace, enter, and paste. Now you see how this, this, now look at the one above. See how it's two? We want to change it to three. And see how our inventory, see how the, our slot, I'm just going to call it slot, our slot is three. If our slot is three, that means our that means our inventory has to be two. Since we're doing capsules, you could get rid of that. 
doesn't really matter. So what caps are we going to do? Why not the EMS Katowice 2014 Legends? So you go into your itemsk.txt and you got to find it, which I remember the ID, which is 4015. What you do is just copy the ID, go back here and where your def index is, you just paste it in there. Level you can ignore quality is like, do you want none? Do you want genuine? Do you want a star? I've, I'm feeling a little silly today, which I'm going to give my pen, not the pen, the capsule a vintage. So we would change our quality to two. Flag, origin, in use, you can ignore. Now, rarity is like consumer, industrial. We're going to do contraband, because why not? All right, there we go. And then you just save it. And then you uh, launch CSGO again, which I'm just going to cut it to when I'm there. All right, now that we're in, we can go to our inventory. And as you see, we have our very unique vintage EMS Katowice 2014 Legends. And with this, you can even open it. It's it it's fakes open it, but you will receive the item. Do we get a Titan Hollow? Hope so. We get a Hell Rizzers paper. And yes, you can apply it to skins, but the thing about it, it's bugged. You'll still keep the sticker, but you will get the gun. And you can uh get rid of the sticker. Now what I will show you is name tags. You know, uh, name tags are unique. If I go click on rename. I'm stuck here forever, but if you want to rename your gun, here's what you do. So same thing, uh, you go here, copy and paste all of this, go down to the brace, paste, and see how that's four, you do five, then you make this four, and then delete this attribution stuff, and if I remember correctly, wasn't it 1205? All right, hi. So it's actually not twelve oh five. It's I was close. It's just twelve thousand, and then we uh save that and let's uh launch CS:GO real fast. All right, we're in. Do we have our name tag? I forgot to change it. It's gonna say community name tag, but you can change it to be. Wait, which one's community? Sorry, I have to take a quick detour. Okay, five is community. I, I have to go through the list and I have to finish this before I publish the video. I'm sorry. But as you can see, we have our name tag. Let's rename our Karambit Fade to Very Awesome Sauce. Apply name tag. And as you see, name tag is applied. We now have Very Awesome Sauce on our, on our thing. And you keep the name tag too because it doesn't take it away from your inventory. Now, let's go add a case to our... To our inventory so what we do here do the same thing copy paste change this to six change this to five now we have to go to our items game and we have to find our case which is like name CSGO or create community this is the key you want to ignore that we have to find our just have to, here, let's do this. CSGO create one, which is the ID 4009. So we want to go back to our inventory and change our def index to 4009. Save it and then open up CSGO.exe. I'm launching it through the shortcut so we can join back secure servers. All right, we are in. Let's check our inventory. We have the community winter offensive weapons case. I keep forgetting to change that. But as you see, if I click on it, I can't unlock the container. That's because you need the key. So what you want to do is go back to your itemscheme.txt. What you want to do... Alright, here's an easy way you can find the key. So you see where the crate is? Oops, don't edit that. You'll break your game. But if you go down here, like if you scroll through it, you should see like a set of numbers under the associated items. That's your key. So we're just going to copy that and put that in our def index. And we are going to launch our game. All right. Second time's the charm. Inventory, as you see, we have our case and our key. And we can unlock the container. Let's see. What do we get? What do we get? And it's a gold. 
I don't know if the uh, I, I think if it's a custom value, if you set it, you get a gold. Cause no way, I just got two golds in like three cases so far. I don't know if it's luck. I don't know if it's program. But you can indeed unbox stuff. And yeah, all right. I will show you how to do pins. All right. Flint pins is pretty easy. Remember, we do we do the classic. We go down here. Since the top one was seven, we go eight. Then we change this to a seven. It's kind of really easy to find because I'll just do the office pin. I just got to type in office, and most likely it'll just show up. Copy this. Put it in our def index. Make sure you delete this. Save. Then launch the AXC again. All right, we are in. If we go over here, we can see our genuine. Oh, it's genuine. But if we go here, as you can see, we have a star next to our office pen because I copied it from the flip knife. So all this stuff is coming from the fifth flip knife. Yeah. Okay, here is. Let's do some souvenir packages. Let's open up a cobblestone package. How about that? All right. Same thing. Copy, go to the brace, paste, nine. And eight. Let's do a cobblestone. Oh, here it is right here. A cobblestone package. Just type in. Might have to type in a weird variation of it. But you will find it. 4027, which is our ID. We put this here. Save that. And let's open up our game real fast. All right. See us go. Inventory, look at that. We have our cobblestone package. Do we get a dragon lore? Let's find out. Dragon lore. Dragon lore. Dragon lore. Doesn't look like a dragon lore to me, but it's it's whatever. Alright. Time for some skins. Which is where we're actually gonna be start using the attribution stuff now. So we pit that. Enter paste. Change this to 8, change this to 7, and now we have to find the gun. We're going to make something unique, but I'll show you what that means in a second. So let's go. Our weapon ID is going to be 7. So for your skin, so what you want to do is go to csgoskins.gg and just find a uh, skin. This also works for knives and gloves, but for now we are going to the AK and find something that's in CSGO which we're doing redline I'm not going to do redline but I'm going to tell you if you want to do redline if you want to do this go to the redline tab and then scroll down to where you see finish catalog 282 but that's not what I'm going to be using I'm not going to be using 282 that's what you would use for the redline whatever the finish catalog is for your gun is what you would put for the finished catalog but since it is an AK we're going to change our def index to, what was it, 7. Level, quality, flags, blah, blah, blah. I'll mess with that later. Now, here's what we're going to do. You can make cool, unique skins. We, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to, this is, our, this is our little fade. And this is 38. So we're going to take that and we're going to put this here. So 6 is your finished catalog. So if it was your red line, you would put 282. Yep. This is your pattern. So whatever you want your pattern to be. And then the eighth one is your float. So I'm just, I'll, I'll just leave it. Actually, no. I'm going to make it lowest float. Then the, uh, the pattern, we're going to make 41. And we're going to save this. And we are going to load in game. And I'll, and I'll show you what I mean by cool custom skins. All right, inventory. As you can see, we have an AK-47 fade. Kind of cool, right? And since we don't have a flow, it shows up as none. And this even shows up in game, which I will uh, cut to real fast. All right, second time's the charm. We got a rifles. We got an AK. Look at that beauty. 
That is that is clean. I I like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to know. Stickers and all the like the other items are pretty self-explanatory. You just have to change the def ID. If you do need help on those though, make sure to leave a comment and I'll try to help out the best as I can. I haven't figured out yet how to get agents and music kits working. And that's the thing you got to figure out. But everything else I can most likely help you about. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoy.